Hello guys, in this video, we are going to be introducing the HMM indicator by Trading Kennel. But before we do that, let's look at a brief introduction to machine learning. So machine learning is a powerful tool that has revolutionized the way we analyze and interpret data. Machine learning has grown in popularity and demand. In fact, by now you should be using some sort of machine learning model or AI in your day-to-day -day activities. Now in the context of financial markets, Machine learning models or AIs cannot predict future prices with certainty. This is because the financial markets are inherently unpredictable and are unpredictable due to some complex interplay of various factors such as economic indicators, geopolitical events, investor sentiments, or just some random decisions that someone somewhere can take. Now, while machine learning models cannot predict future prices with certainty, there is something that machine learning models are actually good at, and that's learning. Machine learning algorithms can be used to analyze historical price data and identify patterns that may indicate future price movements. Say for example, you could train a machine learning model to identify a cat or a dog or a human. You can also train a machine learning model to identify structures on a chart. From an uptrend to a downtrend, so a supply or a demand zone or a support at resistance level, whatever name you call it, you can actually train a machine learning model to identify these structures. And that is where the HMM indicator by Trading Kettle actually comes in. The HMM indicator is a powerful tool designed to enhance your trading strategies by identifying market structures using hidden macro models and principal component analysis. To download this indicator, head over to tradingkettle.com and search for the HMM indicator. Now, this is the version 1.0 and it's available for everyone. Look at some of the features here. This was built by Trading Kettle developers. It is also platform independent, meaning it doesn't require a platform to work. You can obtain data from sources such as Yahoo Finance or Binance via CCXT. There is a zero installation process, which means you don't have to install anything. The indicator type is structure identification using HMM. Now, PCA is not necessary. It's just a feature that you can add. Now, once you've been able to train a model that can identify structures the way you want, you can export the image as a .png file. You can export the table as a .csv file. And you can export the model as a .pkl file. You can also import pre-existing models as .pkl files. So let's dive straight into downloading and setting up this application. So as you can see here, I've already downloaded the HMM indicator. It's a .bra file and I've extracted it here. So you can see this is a folder here. So I can just open this up and scroll down until I find the HMM indicator.exe file. Okay. So I'm going to double tap this. If it's your first time running it, you might get a pop-up asking you to run the application and then you can just click on run anyway. All right. So you can see the HTML indicator version one has now come up. I'm just going to expand this out here. And I'm going to expand this out here. Perfect. So we are going to be obtaining data source from Yahoo Finance and we are going to be running the time frame, the daily time frame. So for Yahoo Finance, we have just the daily time frame, the weekly time frame and the monthly time frame. But for Binance or CCTX, we have the, all of these time frames available here. I recommend that you train models based on the 15 minutes time frame down to the one um, month time frame. Okay. So we're going to be using Yahoo Finance and we're going to be using a daily time frame here. So you're going to be working on the symbol BTC. Let's head over to Yahoo Finance and search for the scar for BTC USD. So I'm going to click on Yahoo Finance. And I'm going to search for BTC USD. You can see BTC USD here. So I'm just going to click on it. 
Now you can see the TCAR for BTC USD. I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to paste this here. I'm going to leave my time zone as Europe slash Athens, but you can change your time zone to whatever you want. Okay? Let's just use uh, my default time frame here. I'm going to select from 2016 of January down to 2024. Now, this is going to be training. You can also select predicting when you actually have a model file that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to be training my model file. Now, I'm going to select some features here. I'm not going to be using PCA. I want to select some features here. So, I'm just going to select uh, the 50 moving at the 200 moving average, the 150 simple moving average, and the 50 moving average. I'm also going to add the returns and the direction here. Now, I want actually four states here. The states are the amount of structures you wanted to identify. So in this case, I wanted to identify four different types of structures. Now I'm going to click on training model. And it has started training the model. So the training is completed. And as you can see, we now have a plot for the close price of BTC USD from 2016 down to 2024. Now we also have our colors indicating the structure um, of the price here. And as you can see, the structure may not be 100% you know, correct in terms of prediction. But you can see that the model has been able to identify oversold conditions here and moderately oversold conditions here. All right. Now, to use this HMM indicator effectively, I suggest that you don't use a long duration in your date range. So here we are using 2016, 2024. That is obviously very high. So I suggest you use just uh, three years uh in your date range if you're going to be using the daily time frame okay so don't use too much data as you can see it looks a little bit congested here so you can back test from 2016 to 2019 and then forward test from 2019 down to 2022 okay now you can also save the model file which is what you've trained to actually predict the structures here as let's say for example btc usd model dot pkl all right don't forget to add the extension here and once you click save you head over to your let me just click on save now if you head over to your files here and you head over to your models a folder called models here you're going to find the btc usd model dot pkl file all right you can also save this as a CSV. And if you head over to your CSV folder, you're going to find the CSV file, which includes the table of the close price, the return directions, and also the predictions. Okay. You can also save it as an image file. Save this here as an image file to share with your friends to see what they think about what your model has actually predicted. In terms of predicting here, let's say you already have a model file or you've just uh, finished training a model file, right? You can actually use it to predict or test what you've actually done here. For every model that we are going to be providing you, we are going to be providing you the symbol, the time frame, if we used PCA or not. Now, if we used PCA here, we are going to be providing you with how many columns we reduced to. But if we didn't use PCA, we are not going to be providing you with this. We are also going to be providing you with the features that we actually use here. So you can select them and then you select uh, and then you import the model and then you add the name of the model here. Now, remember to add the model here, you have to add it into your model folder here. So you can actually import it here. There's a lot we haven't actually covered on the HMM indicator. But as we continue using this indicator uh, in future videos, Hopefully, you're going to see how effective the HMM indicator is in predicting price structures. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support.trinicanal.com. You can also sign up to our community, which is tac.trinicanal.com, and contact me directly. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye for now.